We've been here for like seven months. No, I'm lying. Uh, about ten months already. Um, and we've we've experienced our first spring and our first summer. That means we found out that we have a lot of fruit trees. Now the problem with that we've experienced the fruit trees is that um, the bugs. <laughs> Samanan tumelang mulweni abu sheni di macaroni. Assalamualaikum, namaste, good day, good day, awe, masakanas. My name is Winston and welcome to my channel, Bushes by Buru. On this channel, we discuss everything relating to small scale farming and those small projects that you can do yourself, save on some money and enjoy the fruit of your labor. And today, we're going to show you exactly how we can enjoy the fruit of our labor because we've enjoyed a lot of fruit on this place. Oh. And the problem is that we want to enjoy a lot more fruit, but the insects are bugging us from doing just that. Now, before I start, again, I want to put the disclaimer to say that I'm not affiliated to any of the products that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. Only sharing this information based on our own experiences, based on our own research in terms of what we use on this premises. So, I've done my research in terms of what is eating our plants and there's a worm or it's a lot of worms a lot of different worms that can do that and there's a there's a life cycle of a worm you must remember there's a life cycle of a worm um, it, it first it's a moth it lays eggs it turns into a worm or it turns into lava and then to a worm then you know there's a whole life cycle that i'll, I'll find a picture for you and i'll post it i'll put it here right here next to me um, and then i will you know what, I'm actually very rude. This is Jalen, my sidekick that's always yapping me around. Um, but I'll show you right here a picture of the life cycle of a worm. And you want to you want to make sure that you 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 keep those uh, insects under control um, all through the life cycle. Then again, you know that we have a problem with ants. I will leave a problem I'll leave a link here to a video that I did in terms of keeping the ants under control in the house. They are under control. Um, in the house, we've uh, they, they they came out out of the bathroom cabinet in our our bathroom, but we quickly sorted that out. That out. If you don't want to know how we do that, um, go watch that video. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the ants outside because outside they are literally taking over outside. So we're gonna deal with two problems: worms and ants. Cypermethrin. That was the one word that kept on coming up while doing my research and speaking to people and then i remembered hey the previous owners left me a bunch of things in that workshop and i saw a bottle that looks similar to that name and this is that but and this is that bottle it's it's a product made by uh protec and it's called i think it's called cypermethrin i don't know but the active ingredient on this thing or in this product is called cypermethrin so this is and, and you can see on the picture um, that it deals with a lot of um, a lot of worms and moths and stuff like that. And those are the things. It actually says it works on American ball worm, the army worm, the stalk borer, the codling moth, fruit flies, and branded fruit. I don't know. I can't see that. So like this plastic is not. This is an old bottle. I can't read so lekker. But I'll show you a picture um, on the screen of exactly what what product I'm referring to. So now that I have the bottle, I don't know how to use it. And you, you know me, I hate reading. So I phoned Protec and I said, listen, I have this product. What do I do? This is my product. How do I use it? And a very young, a very uh, friendly young lady answered the phone i don't know what's her name if i if i remembered i would have mentioned her but she but she she helped me with everything she mentioned that for my problem i need to mix one mil per 10 liters of water yes one mil 10 liters of water i have this thing right here and i mean like the the very least is like two mils i mean where is the thing right this mark over here that's 2.5 mils. Now I have to mix one mil per 10 liters of water. Now I have a contact, oh, I have a spray thing here, and this is about six liters. That means I need to use less, I need to use less than one mil. But I, what I did was I put one mil in that six uh, liters of water because I want to first like 
spray everything and then sh make sure I sort everything out. So how do you how do you mix that? Okay, this is a bit heavy. I'm not going to pick it up now. So the, the instructions is fill halfway, put in your uh, one mil, fill it halfway, and then just mix it up uh, lacquer, which I've done already. And you want to be careful. Again, I want to say you got to be careful because these. I mean, if it's the consistency of it is like an oil, and once you mix it with water, it turns milkish. Now already my two fingers are, are feeling a little bit tinglish. Uh, or like it has a tingling feeling because um, I've been exposed to this and it says I must wash my, my hands with uh, soapy water which I'm going to do but I want to spray first and make sure that um, I get everything done then I'm going to wash my hands so you want to be careful if you if you are sensitive if you have sensitive skin be careful when using this product over here it can hurt your skin you know how to use a knapsack I'm not going to explain how you use a knapsack but I'm right here next to the the lemon tree the lime tree whatever you call it, one that's actually carrying some fruit. I'm going to leave a link right here um, to show you that um, there's a lot of aphids and stuff growing. There's a lot of ants crawling around um, the tree as well. So I'm going to be spraying this. I'm going to give it a good cover. What you need to know that this is a, um, it, it kills on contact. So you want to make sure that you spray the whole entire tree and make sure you cover everything in order for it to be effective. So I've already pumped it up and all I'm going to do is just spray all over. And that's about it and you can see i'm wearing a mask because i don't wanna if the the touch on my skin makes my skin tingly what can uh, inhaling just do but that's how you apply it make sure you have a good dose i'm gonna do the rest of the trip i'm at um, the place where i planted the why i placed the the the, the lamp the peppers and the african wormwood you know the vlals um let me just show you how, how it's how it's growing here this is all the peppers that's here there's a lot of mugis and this African wormwood, this is the African wormwood over here and then over here, down here, you can see the more of the pepper plants actually growing very nicely so there's a lot of ants in there, I would have loved to show you but you can also use this on your crop, so it's just going to give it a nice dose um, what I'm spraying for here is, there are aphids and also ants so I'm just going to put my mask back on and I'm just going to give it a good spray As you can see over here, you will see a lot of holes in there and that's where uh, a lot of ants are making nests in there. So this is also a nice product that you can use outside your house and then just to spray the, all the ants over here. So I'm gonna, I pumped it up already and I'm also gonna, I'm just gonna spray it in there and maybe just flush all the holes to make sure that we get it, we get a good coverage in there. And you wanna, wherever you see an ant hill, you wanna just spray this over here and then make sure you flush the tunnels and then that will take care of your ants around your garden eating your plants because um, they can actually uh, kill your plants what i was explaining to you uh, earlier on let me show you what i mean because i think this is one of our late bloomers that gives us fruit later and this is what the fruit actually looks like right now this is what i'm talking about guys these fruit are still green but you can see that something is making, I hope it's going to focus, let me just put my hand behind, there you go. Something has been eating on this fruit and living in this fruit. And there's, there's another two, that side. So they are not even, this, this, this tree never gave us fruit. And this is like one of the green ones here. It looks like this. I, and I bet you if I open it up, there's going to be a lot of worms in there. So um, I don't even go you can see here. Uh, There's some, some stuff hanging off of this. And it's the juices that's coming out of the fruit. Um, you can see this one is even split into half over here. That's how that's how the fruit goes. So I'm spraying it right now so we can so we can um, reduce these black spots. You can see there's an ant um, going all over that. 
So they are just making nests. So that's why we're treating it and that's why we are spraying it. There's two more trees on the other side that never gave us fruit. This is the only one that I see now that gave us late fruit. And this is the problem that we are sitting with. Also, um, I, I said thank you to the lady at Protec. But I also want to say thank you to Mrs. L. Um, you know your, 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 you know you are. Mrs. L, or must I say Sister LR. You'll know if I say that. Um, thank you for, for, for giving us this um, uh, tip, the Cypermethrin. I'm busy using it right now. Like I said, I this is, this is what I'm going to try and use um, at the end of this video or later after I've done spraying I'm gonna give you my my tips on how what I'm gonna on, on my spraying um, 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 schedule like program that I'm gonna use for the rest of the year until until we got we have another uh, harvest season and we'll see if it worked if it doesn't work then we'll obviously change that but for now let me get it get get done and spray the rest of the trees and the rest of the property so that's all that there is to it we are done once you're done you throw away your mask you make sure that you wash your hands um i, I got a lot on my hands so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna wash the car actually so um there's a lot of soap in there so it will actually wash my hands off properly you can download the leaflet of the cypermethrin of this product over here you can download it um and then you can see that there's there are waiting periods in terms of harvesting so we sprayed the tomatoes um the tomatoes are just forming or they're just making a, a blossom right now so they will start forming i can't remember what the waiting period is for harvest but it should be fine and then for the peppers um th they didn't start growing as yet so then there's no there's no um my 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 my, my arm is itching right now um but there are no um uh, flowers as yet it doesn't blo it did not blossom as yet so if it did blossom then I would have um, sprayed that as well but you ask you want to pay mind to um, the, the the waiting period before you harvest if you especially like the lemons that we we just sprayed right now you want to pay attention to that the lemons are not re will not be ready in about a few months we, we tried one yesterday and it was like premature um, so we are in March right now they will only be ready in about June July or some of them will be ready in June July so they have a lot of growing to do a lot of maturing to do so it's fine for us to spray it right now but you want to be, be careful for, for, for when spraying it uh, just before you want to harvest also you want to pay attention to the frequency of how many times you spray it that 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 uh, uh, very friendly young lady told me that listen you don't want to spray more than twice in a growing season that means if your fruit like ours the lime is gonna grow in uh, it, it's it, it grows this autumn winter so you don't want to spray more than twice in one growing season that means what our plan this is our plan guys this is an experiment this is just our plan for the next year and the fruit of that labor we'll only see when the new growing season start when those two uh, peach trees actually grows without any worms forming in it because we're gonna we treated them now in autumn so the plan is every season has three months what I want to do is the first we are in, in, in March right now. This is the first month of autumn. So we're going to use the first month in autumn. We're going to use Cypermethrin. I'm going to make a good dose, a nice strong dose, one mole for six uh, liters. It should, should be one mole for 10 liters. I'm going to make one mole for six liters. So that's a nice strong dose. And I'm going to spray it. And obviously, we sprayed it now. And then the second month, we're going to treat... We're going to be spraying it with malisol. Remember, malisol is also good for any bugs. But we're going to be spraying it with malisol for the second month. The third month, we're going to be using the soap soap water solution. Now, I, I think I explained the soap solution in this um, in this video over here. Um, so, the soap soap solution is for the aphids. So, once you, get, once you have control over the aphids, then the ants should be taken care of. So... You want to get rid of the ant, the aphids in order for your ants to for the ants to stay out of your bedding. So that's our plan. Cypermethrin first month, malisol the second month, soap solution the third month, and then we're gonna continue it and alternate it like that for the rest of the year. And we will be seeing if this method works. That's how you can keep bugs under control, guys. If you have any tips and tricks, if you have any other ways of keeping your bugs under control on your premises, please let us know. Leave us a comment on this video. 
with your tips and tricks so that other people can also learn from the information that we have for them this one i bought i this bottle i got from 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 the from the workshop that the guys left for me but you can get this from game macro any nursery also so that brings us to the end of this episode right here. If you like the information that we shared, give us the thumbs up. If you don't, give us the thumbs down. If you have any tips and tricks, comments, leave it in the comment section down below. I left that subscribe button for you right there in the corner all through the all through the video. Please destroy that video, the destroy that button. Click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we have a new upload. And then um, you'll be, we'll stay in touch with what we share with you. But that's it from me for now. Or it's it from us for now by the way if the video did this and this and that it's because the mugis there's i don't know what mugis are called in english i must find the english word but the mugis are all over here this time of the day and when i started spraying they were like all over and they actually bothered him so that's why the video would do this when he was filming me while spraying so please forgive us in that anyway keep well stay safe stay blessed away